My name is Spencer Whiting. I'm 27 years old. Some people call me Gimbal God, and I film snowboarding and surfing. The thing is, I think is the raddest part about Mammoth is they have so many different levels of parks that you can really like, you know, if you wanna go work on small stuff, go to Forest Trail. If you wanna kinda step up from there, you can go to South Park. And then, you know, if you're like feeling it and you're kinda at that more advanced uh, pro level rider, you can, you can kinda go ride Main Park. And it really doesn't get better than that. Like there's not many mountains, you know, on this, planet that have that many uh, that many different like aspects of a terrain park. My dad was a mogul skier back in the day so he actually had me on skis when I was like 18 months old and I, I remember when I was young just like being on a chairlift and I like saw and I, I believe this was at Killington Vermont I saw people snowboarding and like immediately I remember like this like little kid thought just like oh that's what I want to do and it was always like I could snowboard, but I had to ski like two weeks a year until I was like 10 years old. That was the deal. Like anytime we went on a family trip, I always had to do one day on skis. I mean, I, th I think growing up, it was just, uh, it was pretty insane to be at the mecca of like pro snowboarding on the West Coast. When, when I was kind of growing up, like Judd Hankies and uh, Brock Crouch were kind of like, right behind us, Brandon Davis, and it was just such a such a core community of like the next generation and, and what is now like the current generation of pro snowboarders. It's pretty surreal when you look at like one zone that created so many talented snowboarders. Uh, I mean, the, the filming career kind of like started by accident, really. My buddy Brandon Davis and I, we kind of like had an idea. Let's film a web series, you film me, I film you, and, and it kind of turned into this thing where you know, he started getting so good at snowboarding, I just started like filming a little bit more and then it kind of all culminated with Stale hiring me and, and things kind of like snowballed from there. People have been doing follow cams for, you know, like since snowboarding really started. They had really sick like follow cams, cable cams, like they had it dialed. I just think it was like the access point was so low where it, like it cost me 250 bucks to get the gimbal and then I had a GoPro. so. It was like a really cheap entry point for me. And then once I realized I could start to kind of get these shots with my GoPro and get closer, things started clicking in my head where I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I can start kind of putting the camera where I haven't seen other people do it yet to give everybody a closer experience to what it's like to do those tricks or how I always envisioned those tricks would look the best. I mean, we've had a couple close calls, but no crazy bad air collisions. But my first and only one, knock on wood, that happened was in 2015 with Eric Boschman. And I just, I didn't really understand the trick he was gonna do. He drifted a little bit. I was in a position where I couldn't like get out of the way anymore. And we like collided right before the landing and uh, got pretty smoked. The name Gimbal God actually first came about. I'd asked Pat Bridges like, if it was a possibility for me to intern. Maybe like a week later, they were shooting the blackboard test with Sage at Mammoth. And I remember I was like just about to leave. I was like in the gondola line and Bridges calls me. He's like, hey, uh, you want to start your internship today? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. He's like, cool. Uh, you know, like have your camera set up and, and meet us at the top of Main Park at 2 p.m. So I met with, uh, I met with Sage and all them there, and I remember on the radio, uh, Joe Carlino and Mark, Mike Yoshida, everyone was calling me Gimbal God, like, oh, Sage and Gimbal God are about to drop. And I was actually, I was like pissed, or not pissed, but like annoyed. I was like, these guys are just making fun of me, you know? The key to happiness for me, I think, is just getting outside, whether it's in the ocean or the mountains or the skate park, and like, I like for me, it's like filming with my friends, you know, if like, we come up with a cool concept and just go out in the mountain and have a good time. Like, it's very rare that you're gonna find me in a non-happy state doing that. And I think that's just kind of something that I wanna do for life. Stay out in the mountains, the ocean, it's a good spot. <laughs>